Shilam Mishpacha, this is a, a little recording to encourage you and to show you how getting your desires is not as difficult as many people think. I wanted to relate a testimony of mine when I was in England and I was seeking a job at the time and uh, how I went about and when I got my first job it was at 13,000 pounds back then the United States dollar was around between one and a half and 1.7 uh, to the British pound between 1.7 and 1 and 1.5 so either or question is I did know I did no visual technique because I, I wasn't so familiar with visualization I had, I had heard about it but I didn't know how to use it so I wasn't familiar with visualization however I did believe in myself I believe in writing things down and I believe in and looking things you know reading things over and over again if necessary like repetition so what happened was as I wanted to relate this story to you this will help many of you who are trying to to get there and struggling at this point not to get there so you will get there if you understand the concept all you got to do is understand the concept so what was, what was my concept? My concept was that when I went into my job at 13,000, I wanted to get a higher salary. So I decided, remember it's a decision. So I made a decision. I said, I am going to double my salary. I'm going to, first I said, I'm going to increase my salary. And then whilst I was trying to increase my salary, you know, that was my first assumption. Because I was working on assumptions and I didn't know nothing about the law, the law of assumption, the law of manifesting, didn't know nothing about that. I just simply said, I'm going to increase my salary. And then I said, it'd be nice to double it. You know, that's what I said. So what happened, I had a friend call, call your friend Doubt. Okay, so the friend that I had, let's call him Doubt. He was actually a real person. And... Um, he didn't say nothing to me at that point, okay? So what I did within getting my first job, I set my mind to increasing my salary at that point. And of course, you know, within my mind, there was a question mark of doubling it. So increasing it to what amount? I ideally double it. So I went from 13,000 within four, I think it was around six months, yeah not six months, four months. Four months, I went from 13,000 to the next job, which was 18,000 pounds, okay? So, 13 to five. So, I didn't double it, of course, in that amount of time, but what I did do, my salary increased by $5,000, okay? So, So, 5,000 pounds at the time was a 38% increase in four months. Okay, so when I got to the, when I got to the, you know, to, the, to this increase, at that point I didn't stop and said, oh, that's it, you know, I'm happy. No, I, I said no. I said, I'm going, to I'm going to still aim for my double, of course, which was from 13 up. So, I continue to work in my mind, you know, I continue to think it over and over again that I've got to raise my salary up, I've got to raise it up, I've got to raise it up. That's what I basically, not openly, I had nothing written down, I didn't say to nobody, I just said to myself, it needs to go higher, it needs to go higher. And so, what I did, I continued to work that job, I was very good in my job, very, very good. And the people I worked for really liked me was a chartered accountant in London. And from chartered accountants in London, I made the next jump to 25,000 pounds. And that was with Goldman Sachs. Now, remember, I started with 13. The double of 13 would be 26. So with bonuses, I actually doubled my salary. How long it took me? It took me, because my next jump came in around 8 months. So it took me a total of 12 months, 1 year one year to double my salary. Now, I didn't stop there. 
because you might think okay that's it you know you got your goal fine happy and dandy no i was not so this is my my friend i call him the doubt because you know your your mind is your doubt automatically your biggest enemy is yourself you must know other people maybe it might be other people who who maybe are your stumbling block but usually it's your own mind so in my case my stumbling block wasn't my mind my mind was all free but it was my friend so my friend goes to me okay so you go from your 13 to 18 18 to 25 25000 and so what next he goes to me what next and i said well he goes to me i think he goes to me i think this is your limit so when he said to me this is your limit i don't think you can go any higher in the it especially in, in in you know goldman sachs which was considered creme de la creme and i said no i said no this is not creme de la creme for me i said i'm going to go higher so he said what is higher for you i said okay so we'll i said so we'll bet i said i said my higher for me will be a job in the us and 50000 dollars that is that is higher for me he said okay so we'll bet on it he said i i don't think you'll get there i said i will get there he said you're going to jump from united kingdom to the us impossible you haven't got the visa you haven't got passport you know you got passport you got no visas to go to the us like to live there and work there blah blah all of that i said don't worry about it as it's going to happen as it's going to happen i've decided it's going to happen and so he was like okay done we we did a pound bet done i said okay done pound pound is done so what happened next i then you know set my mind that i'm going to go to the us and i'm going to get my next salary as well minimum minimum i set my target to 50000 you know i just one day as i was thinking about it and as i was working in london i said to myself i said to myself i'm going to phone i'm going to phone the us i'm going to phone an agency over there so i just came home i i found an agency they were called computer people and i said i want a job in america and they're like what what skill set do you have sir and I, i told them everything they said we'll interview you and if you pass our interview it will be by some banking individuals and bank individuals interviews are very very tough because they they are very technical very tough in their in their department so the lady goes to me if you pass the interview we will give you the job i said okay no problem i can go pass the interview so so they uh, one day they said to me you got about three guys or four guys uh from Cred- uh, i think it was uh, credit suisse first boston bank so they wanted to interview me so they inter- the the technical department wanted to interview me i said okay what time this and gave me a time i did the interview and then the and then you know what the you know what the three guys said, said after the interview they said we have never seen a man like this this is the man we want and you know what the company offered me on the spot they said to me we will offer you the job we will give you a visa we will give you a relocation package and your starting salary will be $52000 in 3 to 4 months will increase it to $60000 so from that so from 25 i doubled my salary again more than doubled it and i said to my friend my doubt friend i said to my friend hey hey i just made the visa to america is like no way no way you can't have i said yes yes way i said for me everything is yes way i said i made my visa and i'm traveling to america he is like wow what the heck he was what magic do you have that i don't have because he was a hardware engineer he was a hardware engineer stuck on his salary i think it was around 16000 pounds at the time and he would travel to sites to you know fix uh computers uh company computers and service them and stuff like that he was basically a field engineer and i said to him he goes to me he goes to me no way he said my goodness he goes you came out of nowhere <laughs> he goes you came out of nowhere you overtook me and you overtook everybody else my goodness i can't believe that he goes you got to help me as well now he realized that i had a power to do this and he didn't because he was stuck in his job he had a company loan card and i said to him i said i said you can get your own car what the heck you doing with the company car he said yeah i want to do that and so so and so forth my point is this the point i'm trying to make is this you got to believe in yourself you have to believe in yourself 
when you believe in yourself, it doesn't matter what the doubters are saying. Your relatives, I had relatives, I had my doubters, but I wouldn't give them the time of the day. I, I would listen to them from one ear and out the other. And I wouldn't speak to them too much. I would keep my distance. And I've always kept away from negative people, you know, these kind of uh, people who are stuck in their ideology of the world, that the world is bad and, you know, everything is bad and rich people are bad. And, you know, they're stuck in that ideology. I, I had nothing to do with that. I don't care about them. So, similarly, you can't have people like that around you who are telling you that rich people are evil, they must have got their money through some, you know, some back door or through some bribe or maybe they sell, sold drugs, things like that. You know, this is a mindset issue. You cannot live with that mindset. You don't want that mindset. Rich people, as far as I know, equally many of them have worked businesses, have worked, worked hard, have done businesses, maybe businesses from family and other uh, you know, other setups that they they were invested their money and they've reaped their investment and good for them, Baruch Hashem, no, no problem with that. So my point is, I do not see rich people as the evil instigators or, you know, trying to take money from other people. I don't see it like that. And, so, and many people do, unfortunately, many people do. And this is a stumbling block. Until you remove that stumbling block from yourself, You'll keep stumbling because you're trying to become rich and you're seeing rich people down. When you're trying to become rich and you're looking at rich people as down, like you're putting them down but you want to be in their place, you'll never get there. Because you have a problem, which many people do, because they see rich people as evil and they see them with money as evil. And so they've got this belief system set up in their minds that some, somehow, some way, Rich people are evil, so why should they be rich? Yet, you want to be rich. <laughs> you, want to, you want to be in their place or better. So, remember, never ever have that kind of mindset. Because the way I look at it, the rich, they finance the world. So, factories, businesses, you know, anything that is happening in this world, the rich finance, the rich finance those things. The rich make the factories, the rich make the, the bridges, you know, the big buildings, the big universities, there's always rich people behind that who invest their money. So, through their money, many other people benefit. You know, other people who go to universities, who go to hospitals, who go to schools, they benefit as a result of somebody else's investment. So, we cannot turn around and look at that investment and say, oh, you know, it's evil. You can't, can't do that. That is a negative. So, please stay away from the negative. Remember, I only had myself, my belief system, and my go-get attitude. You know, that was the three things I had that, that I used to manifest my desires. And I didn't stop at 52,000, by the way. Oh, yes, I did go to the U.S. I did get my job in New York City. And by after getting my job in New York City, I was offered a job for $80,000. Okay? So, things didn't stop over there. And I actually settled, I actually settled, as most of you know, I settled with a $100,000 job. So, where did I go from 50, 52, 100,000, doubled it again. So, I already have the experience of doubling my salary, doubling it again and again. So, three times I doubled it. So, if I could have done it with just my belief, my faith, and the action that God showed me, I did whatever God revealed to me at the time. I believe fully. I believe with my whole heart that you can do the same thing. I'm not saying that you, you're going to go work in New York because, <laughs> you know, everybody's got a different, different uh, priority in life and different setting and different places they live. But what I am saying, it is not difficult for you to double your income and double it again. I am certain of that. So you can double your income and you can double it again. But you've got to be faithful, you've got to be sincere, and you've got to be diligent. That is the most part. If you have those three, if you are faithful, if you are serious and you're diligent, there is nothing that can stop you from doubling and doubling your income again. It means that you can twice double it. So, whatever incomes you're on right now, I don't know what you're on right now, but I told you what I was on. 
So if I could double mine and double it twice, in fact I did it about three times, if I could do it about three times, I am pretty sure that you can do it too. So be happy, be diligent, write down what you want so that you know what you want. Now let's say if you are on, on $20,000 or $30,000 annually, some of you who are on the lower scales, double that twice. Okay, 20 becomes 40, 40 becomes 80. So put down $80,000 as an income and then work on that. And then you got your, you got your affirmations, you got your visualization, you got so many powerful techniques I've given you to get there so fast. Similarly, if you're $100,000, nothing says that you can't earn $200,000. Nothing says that you can't make $300,000, means that you can triple it. You can go 100 and another 100 and another 100. So from 100 to 300, you tripled it. Okay? So, and I say you can. I say you can. That means you can. You have the ability. You have the ability to do that. Today, the world is very different from the time I entered the employment market to today, you know, 25, 30 years ago to today, the world is totally different. You know, today you got the internet, you got online businesses, you got all sorts of things happening. And so I, I really see for you to be able to not only double your income, but triple it. But remember what I said, be diligent. Trust, first of all, Trust in yourself. Believe in yourself. Secondly, trust in God. Okay? God is always in the equation. God is never out of it. It's not like we're doing it by ourselves. When you put your belief and your trust, you believe in yourself and you put your trust in God, God will deliver. This is my experience. And I believe that similarly it will be your experience. So, believe in yourself, write down what you want, what income you desire. doesn't matter how it comes, doesn't matter what kind of business, what kind of salary, what kind of job delivers that salary, but you just got to believe in yourself, trust in God, and do the, do the exercises. Do the exercises. I did. <laughs> By the way, I did, yes. So, giving you a short synopsis, this is an encouragement for you, that since I did it, you can do it too. And so, never be disheartened. Never be disheartened by people around you saying, hey, you can't do it. You can't do it. No, you won't get there. I had people doing that. I had my relatives, some of them saying to me, you won't get there. And I said, no, I'll, I said, I'll get there. I will get there. It's no problem. So, with that, be encouraged, be happy, and always, always be in gratitude to God. Thank God for your life. I did, by the way. I did, yes. I thank God for your life. Thank God for your things that He already given you. Thank God for that. But one of the things, one of the techniques that I can give you that will really help you is the why technique. See, some people, they struggle and they can't break that barrier. For some reason, they try to break a barrier and they are stuck like a wall. If you find yourself in that barrier, like it's a wall, then one of the things that you can do is you can employ the why technique. So, the why technique will be similar to you say, you know, you, you set yourself a salary. Let's say you wanted a $200,000 salary. And you say, why am I making $200,000? Or, why is my bank account always sitting on six figures? When you do that, when you're doing that, you're basically allowing God, the universe, you're allowing them to bless you, you're allowing them to to bring you to that point where you can have six figures sitting in your bank and you can have a $200,000 income. I mean, when I say salary, I mean income. You know, income in that, in that regards. So there's nothing that says you can't have $200,000 income. You can, you will, and, and you just simply need to be diligent and continue to apply yourself. Do this every day. What I just told you, do it every day. And I've also given you the a meditation, a short meditation of five minutes to bring in the $500,000. So please use it and bless yourselves and uh, let God to bless you. Thank you. Have a, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And shalom, shalom to you.